Hi all, welcome to the Jenkins Online Meetup. Today we have a demo session as a part of the Jenkins UI UX Hackathon. And Keja will present uh, a prototype of the GitHub uh, Checks API plugin for Jenkins. It's a part of uh, the Google Summer of Code project. And uh, yeah, uh, this is just the beginning. Our coding phase starts next week. But still, uh, there is a good prototype. And uh, let's see the demo and let's discuss it. So the floor is yours. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share the screen? Yes. Uh, so mm -hmm. I start sharing my screen now. So can you see my screen? Uh, yes. So hello everybody, uh, I'm Koji. Currently, uh, I'm working on this GitHub Checks API plugin for uh, this year's Google Summer of Code project. And uh, this uh, this project is still uh, in design during the community bounding period. Um, we'll officially start up the coding in the beginning of the uh, June. So, so today I'm going to show a prototype of, of this project now. Um, uh, I'm here to do this presentation because I want to invite more people to join us uh, to tell us uh, what you want to get from the uh, from this plugin and and what you uh, what the API looks like you want to see and uh, uh, that's it. So uh, so here I'm so this is today's I'm going to talk about. So first I think we should start by. Uh, understanding how the current Jenkins, how currently Jenkins is interacts with interacts with uh, uh, GitHub. So let's open the so let's, so let's open the PR. For now. This is, um, for, okay. So here, this is uh, the PRs for the Jenkins Mustang. And so let's open up a PR here, just for example. And currently, uh, if, if you use uh, Jenkins as the inst uh, integration for GitHub, you will see uh, there are some checks reported from Jenkins. And uh, uh, currently, this is achieved by using the status API. And this status API can only leave one message for each for each check. So if you want to take a look at the details, we are going to the uh, Jenkins instance website, and I think this is a we are going to the Blue Ocean plugins page. So here it is. Um, but the checks API is uh, is different. It can do more. So. Uh, it will report the status uh, as checks and um, you will see more information. So here, for example, I created some checks by my plugin earlier this day. So if you if you want to see more details, you can just stay on GitHub. Uh, you don't need to uh, go to the uh, Jenkins website and you will see the checks here. Uh, These checks are uh, created by my prototype. Currently, uh, we haven't uh, provided any information besides uh, uh, the names, so and the conclusion. So, so let's start. So, let's talk about the checks API. Yeah. Uh, you see the picture here. Uh, if we, uh, if we uh, eventually end up, end up this plugin, we're able to report the wordings, some um, like code coverages from the Jenkins to GitHub, and uh, it will add some annotations for each line of a code. Uh, you'll see some annotations like this. This, this is something we want to achieve uh, in the end. 
Mm -hmm. So, so uh, before you uh, create check, GitHub checks, you have to uh, convert the Jenkins into uh, the GitHub apps. Uh, I think this uh, team has uh, achieved this in the GitHub branch source API. Uh, and GitHub, the plugin, the GitHub branch source plugin, he has uh, used a uh, It has uh, uh, helped to. Sorry, is this GitHub? Yeah, this is the right uh, plugin. Yeah, GitHub. I also posted a link to the announcement blog post in the chat. Okay, so here is the uh, team implemented this GitHub app authentication guide. So uh, if you want to create checks, we have to convert Jenkins. Uh, into a, a GitHub GitHub app, and uh, here's something you need to do. So, if first you have to create a, a GitHub app here, and you can see here with some permissions to access to my repositories. And here I install this an app into my uh, the sandbox repo, um, repository. And then if you want some settings. Uh, here's here you have to uh, set the webhook to your Jenkins uh, normally it's normally it's uh, like uh, okay so, um, so so okay here so normally it's uh, uh, the the webhook to receive the github events uh, is this the is, is this the, GitHub webhook and don't forget to this to add this backslash. I remember I did the bug flowers because I just forget to add this backslash. Mm -hmm. So that's about GitHub apps. Uh, here I'm using the uh, in order to let the GitHub access my Jenkins. I use the I use the uh, forward delivery um, tool to send the events to my computer. So this is the uh, events I received during the uh, test. So the question is, plugin will expose this checks API capacity for reaching this file. Yes, currently the GitHub branch source has done something. Like you see, you see here, oh, okay, I think. I think team has achieved some part of this. Currently use uh, this kind of CURL to create check rounds for now, but eventually we'll uh, add the pipeline support uh, for our plugin. So all this code will become just a single step or maybe we'll even run automatically like it currently happens with status API. Yeah, thank you. I know that code. It's it's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, like this is all. Hi. So and 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 I want to say that here is uh, something I want to get more our informations from the users because you can see now uh, that if you want to configure the uh, checks in this Jenkins file, you have to just uh, set this static tests. Um, if you want, if you want more, you have to access the. Uh, reports from the other Jenkins plugins, like, like the warnings plugins, code coverage plugins, in order to report these informations to GitHub. Uh, but if you can't access this, these plugins reports in the, uh, the, the, the Jenkins file, maybe you're just able to create uh, the, the check runs. So there's something uh, where our, my team is still struggling with. So the next I want to talk about the design of my plugin right now. And so there are, uh, most importantly, there are three parts, uh, and three uh, dependencies, uh, the, the plugins that uh, 
my plugin is dependent on. And the first one is the GitHub branch source API. Uh, we have to use this the SCM API implemented by, by this plugin to retrieve the the, the sources, retrieve the uh, SHA-1 uh, branches of the Jenkins job. And the GitHub, uh, the GitHub plugin is something we use to, use to uh, like receive the events. Uh, since this plugin has implemented extension point, we just need to extend that and we are able to receive the GitHub events from GitHub. So here is uh, the design of currently. Um, or so mostly, most of the works will focus on this job listener. So this job listener class. So there are three stages of a uh, Jenkins run. Normally, here is uh, uh, when the GitHub um, creates, the users create a new PR or comment. Uh, it will trigger a uh, Jenkins to uh, start a job. And when the job enters the query, and where our, our checks, our, our plugin will enumerate the consumers to create check rounds and we'll set those check rounds in queue. Um, we'll talk about this uh, in detail later uh, when, we, when I'm going to talk, when I talk about the code. And uh, uh, later when this job leaves the pre and the stars, uh, we we'll enu also enum enumerate the consumers and to update the check rounds in, in progress. And uh, eventually when the job completes, we'll enumerate the consumers to complete the check runs. And uh, at this point, uh, we'll also to collect the reports from other plugins, like from the warnings plugins, from the code, co code coverage plugins, uh, to get the reports and then um, we send these reports to GitHub and the user will see them. So, so. So here I'm talk about here I'm going to talk about the uh, API we're going to provide. So you see here this this uh, check round results extend the uh, extension point, and so any any plugins that want to report the uh, information report the warnings to GitHub, they just need to uh, you just need to extend this class and. So here I, I draw some consumers, possible consumers of our plugin, and each of the consumers will create a, a single uh, check run. Like for warnings plugin, we create a check run for warnings plugin, and for code coverage plugin, we create another check run for it. Mm, so next, so. So now I'm going to sh show how the how the prototype currently works. So here I create a repository uh, as a sandbox to ch to test my plugin. I create a PR area, and uh, there are some checks like. The default Jenkins. Okay, so thanks, Ole. And so here we have two check rounds in the same check suit. And uh, you'll see here there are two check rounds because uh, I extended I extended from the source. Uh, sorry for the name. The check round source is a is, uh, is the check round result? I haven't changed the name yet. So, so in this uh, in this uh, extension point that we provide, uh, we just uh, currently add some abstract uh, functions as like get link, get output, get actions, and uh, we uh, like like defer the, the the conclusions from the build. So it's, if it's better or you could choose success, then and we get the conclusion success. So, and also we, uh, in this uh, in this default uh, setting, we also create the uh, the time when it's uh, complete. So, 
now. Yeah, I'm going to stop. So next, I'm going to show how this uh, actually works. So here, when I start build the, this, uh, normally it's well, the build will trigger by the GitHub PRs, but uh, uh, now I just uh, I, I just build the uh, click the build button here in the Jenkins website and uh, and it will show here. So this function is initialized. Uh, we because we listen to the we extend the wrong listeners. We're able to all be triggered when the when the uh, Jenkins job starts. So on initialize like on, it enters quiz. Um, we create the check runs into into queue state. So here, so here we go. We just here we just uh, retrieve the head sha of the uh, of the repositories, and, uh, and we also can get the repository names. So here, so here we have to create the token and in order to access the uh, GitHub APIs. So, so in the, after um, create the token, the next thing we do is to enumerate the uh, extension uh, from the check on sources. Uh, if you see here, uh, our first source is the default, is the default check on source. Uh, and in the default check on source, we just provide the name um, of the of the of the check check on. So here we created. Sorry, some network problems. Yes, there's some problems. I'm struggling right now uh, because uh, if if the message just fails sometimes, I think uh, I'm bad luck today. So this just. Uh, never mind, I'll start it again. The the access to GitHub API sometimes fails. Uh, I don't know why now. Uh, there's something I'm struggling to solve now. Let's see again. Let's try it again. Sometimes uh, APIs uh, just work differently in the debug and uh, common mode because the debug instrumentation uh, creates a lot of delays. So for some libraries, uh, it's enough to cause issues. So here, the first. So yes, here we create the first sprung. So if we take a look at the the checks page here, you see this default change is wrong. It just started 14 minutes a seconds ago. And if you go to the conversation card, and you see here, this checks is just in queue. So if we keep going, oh, bad luck. Sorry, but we just keep keep moving for our this single chip run. So the logic is basically almost the thing. And uh, it what's different is uh, in when the job starts, uh, instead uh, we set the we set the uh repose to queue state. Now we're going to set the the check runs to in progress state. And we are also added the uh, started at at time. So you see, so you see here the time. So here is on the job start. Let's create the token and also update the check rounds. So you see here, this there's a circle rotating around it. 
and if you guys have some receiving card and it's in progress now so if we keep going and now we are going to complete the check round and uh, and complete the check round here we just use some static like set the status to be completed and uh, here we just set the conclusion for success for success since it's just a prototype for now but later we'll maybe make these uh, parameters to be configurable by the consumers of this plugin There it has stopped. And uh, so I guess we'll stop here. And the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the parameters we can uh, we can provide for uh, in his, uh for for our GitHub check around. So. So when create a check round, you can provide these parameters. Um, for now, in my plan, I'm just going to split these parameters in three groups. Something, uh, something is non-configurable by the consumers, like the like the uh, headshot, like the detail URLs, like the status or st start at that time. We'll do this for our consumers. And another group of the parameters uh, is the uh, configurable ones. And like the configure ones, I mean, uh, like the name of the check round, uh, where we should allow the consumers to custom the name. And also uh, maybe some other things like the, like in the output object and the title, the summaries of, uh, of the report, the annotations of each lines of a code. Uh, these things we need to, you know, retrieve from the consumers. So this part is, uh, configurable. Another part I think is uh, is also configurable by the users, but will provide some default settings. Um, so maybe the conclusions, if the users didn't provide the conclusions for their uh, reports, and uh, then we'll maybe just uh, um, defer the uh, the conclusion from the uh, Jenkins job status. So. Yes, that's, a, that's basically uh, about the prototype now. So, so any questions about it? That oh, looks great. Thanks for the demo. Uh, one question I had is about um, dependency on the GitHub branch source. Uh, so, do you consider moving uh, the, um, yeah, about notification support outside of uh, GitHub uh, branch source, or do you plan to keep it there, the team? I'm sorry, I didn't quite understand. Uh, yeah, so um, GitHub checks API plugin, currently oh. depends on um, the GitHub branch source plugin. Yes, it's, yeah. uh, we have to use this GitHub branch source plugin in order to retrieve the head shop. Uh, because mm -hmm. this has implemented the SCM API, so I think mm -hmm. we have to use it. So, does it yeah. answer your question? Yeah, it does. So, I was wondering whether there are plans to detach that uh, for the plugins, but yeah, if not, I think that it's a great thing anyway. Also, there's another part that we have mm -hmm. to depend on the GitHub branch source, uh, is uh, I think. I mentioned it earlier is uh, yeah, uh, we don't need to uh, yes the the branch source has implemented the app uh, has implemented this app authentication part so uh, we just yeah. depend on it to use that part. Okay, so thank you. It. Okay. Any other questions from others? Uh, hi, uh, I had one question. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, KG, uh, uh, so uh, I, I was wondering how the implementation is been done. I mean, how is Jenkins reporting uh, the uh, GitHub uh, checks API? Uh, like, uh, is it is it uh, has has to be uh, um, specifically mentioned in the Jenkins file, or does the plugin automatically handles this? 
Yes, I okay. I think my mentor has has opened the draft PR for this. Anyway. So here's some you know preview of this uh, of this API. You know. So like uh, here, um, if uh, the, the so we are, we should assume this class has uh, extended the the chip run results, extended our our extension point. So uh, when the jobs when the jobs finishes, uh, it should have set like set the status, set the checks, and set the summaries, and uh, and, and in that, and also check the annotate at the annotations and uh, oh, oh sorry uh, I should uh, uh, sorry I, I I started all the work again um so there is some check run results right and uh, so first when the Jenkins job starts uh, we are attach these results to the run through this check run result action so uh, later when other plugins I um, have something to report we can just uh, uh, get this action from the run um, by just uh, the get action function and the method, um, and then they can they can get the result part from the action, and they can do something changes in this uh, run result. So, and when the job completes, we just uh, invoke those methods like get annotations, get output, and uh, and then we just report them to the uh, GitHub. So, that, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah, it does somewhat. Uh, okay, that's that's also cool that uh, it can be extended and modified, etc. Uh, 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 like uh, uh, from the users of GitLab branch source plugin, what I have uh, understood, maybe it's not very correct, but what I've understood is uh, majorly uh, what what user wants in the, in the status is uh, in their uh, uh, source code manager SCM uh, is. Uh, like the stages of their uh, uh, stages that they have defined in the Jenkins file. Like suppose uh, there is uh, two stages, like uh, like build and deploy. Uh, they want two stages in their uh, like SCM that uh, says uh, build has uh, passed and deploy has passed. I mean, and all the details related to that. So uh, so uh, suppose uh, th this is the scenario uh, that I want. Like I want uh, the status of build build and deploy stage. So it, do I have to mention it in my, uh, I mean, do I have to uh, specifically write uh, a build step to, uh, I mean, a pipeline step to uh, provide the uh, SEM, uh, the status of that particular stage or plugin will automatically handle that? Um, I think the most part, if, if the, for the consumer plugins, uh, I think like, like for the warnings plugins, uh, uh, after the like in the build step, there were some uh, like in the publish step, they should uh, you know uh, report this uh, report change the uh, some properties in this class, and uh, so so later we when we invoke this method, we can get. It. But in the pipeline, uh, in in the pipeline in the Jenkins file, uh, I'm not sure uh, we can achieve that because uh, uh, if we uh, if we want to report the uh, report the information to to GitHub, we have to uh, in the uh, in the pipeline you have to provide the uh, some some warnings and uh, some warnings in the pipeline. But if you can't and uh, you, you can't access the warnings in pipeline, and then you can report it to our 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 plugin, then we can provide it to uh, to the GitHub. So the pipeline support was still. I'll discuss with my mentors whether we can, how we can um, support the pipeline and whether we should support the pipeline. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether that this answers your question. Mm, yeah, it uh, again somewhat does. Uh, so uh, like uh, all the uh, checks uh, result sent through GitHub is done by plugin automatically, like uh, doing, uh, running the job it uh, sends uh, started yes and uh, finished or uh, 
like other results so is it done by plugin itself or that has to be mentioned needs to be mentioned separately in the jenkins file like okay. you had written a curl command in there so we have to specifically mention it in the jenkins file or does it uh, does the plugin handle it okay. mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the sorry. listener uh, that uh, KZ has implemented it's mostly uh, for in the uh, like uh, for the job like when the job uh, started and when the checkout uh, like for SCM on checkout and etc. So uh, like it would be nice if uh, there would be listener on each stages and reporting on that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was also wondering how is it doing that if there is. Yeah, it's a good question. So let's wait for the catcher is able to unsee it uh, live. Uh, if not, uh, uh, we will just uh, um, yeah, uh, take it offline in the chat. So meanwhile, if you want to know more about this project or if you want to join that, there is a mailing list. Uh, we do it as a part of the platform seek at the moment. Uh, the results uh, chat on Gitter. Uh, where you can find uh, all the information and when you can chat with mentors and with other stakeholders of the project. And if you want to join the meetings, uh, there are weekly meetings on Wednesdays. So you can just uh, join the project meeting and see the recent demos and uh, to discuss the status. Okay, so. Okay, should we uh, take uh, the question offline? Yeah, I mean, we, we can do, I think, actually, yeah. um, like, Parachi's questions uh, answered a lot of the questions I had as well, I think. Um, what I'm missing, kind of, is like, an overall, what's the overall workflow? Like, there's a lot of technical details here of implementation, but I have similar questions, like, what's the actual what would a consumer, what would a, an end user of Jenkins, how would they use this? Um, like if I install this plugin, will it magically start reporting my warnings from the warnings plugin um, mm -hmm. as those steps happen? It's just that kind of workflow and kind of like example Jenkins file and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, it would be a great addition. Uh, so there was uh, some items about that mentioned in the original proposal. Uh, so if you're interested to know more information, you can find it uh, here. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a proposal which is draft and obviously we will see what will be supported as a part of JSOC later. But uh, yeah, you can see some deliverables uh, there. Um, and uh, I believe that it was discussed uh, what Casual wants to implement specifically, or maybe not. Okay, yeah, maybe it's not uh, discussed today in details, uh, but in such case, you should definitely go to the chat and uh, bring up this question because it would be a great feedback to the project team so that uh, they can uh, decide what will the answer of this question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Let's just take it offline because yeah, definitely Kesha has connectivity issues. So yeah. Anyway, thanks uh, for this presentation because it's definitely a great demo and it provides uh, a lot of information about what's been done in this project. And yeah, everybody is welcome to participate. Kesha. Uh, okay. Oh, does uh, the audio work for you now? <laughs> yes, I think it is. Mm -hmm. so, so, so everybody has to leave uh, No, we, uh, some people left, but we had a discussion. And uh, there is still open question from uh, Chris, uh, which you could pro, uh, briefly answer. How do you plan to implement that? Would it be automatic reporting or would users need to add uh, steps uh, to get uh, the uh, checks reported? 
So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. but that depends on. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, but that depends on the uh, on the how how the consumer plugins implements on uh, our uh, extension points. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you already discussed it for code coverage API or for Wormix and Drip plugin? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what? Uh, for the Wormix plugins, just uh, like I showed the PR uh, opened by Uli, and uh, about the API, he just going to uh, use a way uh, I designed, like <laughs> I attached the a uh, result through a round to the uh, I attach the results to to the run through an uh, action and uh, so during the build steps all the plugins are able to uh, access this action and uh, so they are, they are access they can access the results and uh, change some properties in their results and we can retrieve the results and uh, at, at the end of the uh, job and then we report it to the uh, github Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. I was just, it's maybe a kind of low level Jenkins technical question. Um, regarding that design, I'm wondering uh, if it's possible for a plugin, for example, warnings or whatever, is it possible for them to create an action and then another plugin, like the GitHub check plugin, to automatically notice that that action has been created? Like, it, can it listen, can a plugin listen for actions being created on a run? Because um, yes. I'm just wondering if there's like, um, yeah, if you can have kind of like a decoupling there where you don't have to, uh, I don't know, it's just a bit simpler. I don't know, perhaps. Yeah, in principle, it's possible. Um, I'm also not sure whether yeah, there is a good API for that right now. So you can always connect to a savable listener and get notifications when uh, the metadata gets saved. But yeah, let's just take a look at the current uh, run listener implementation. So I guess here there is no step for action created. So, but yeah, if it's a use case, we could probably uh, add one. Or maybe there are other APIs which support that. Uh, but yeah, on the low level, you can just uh, connect to the savable listener to capture this data if they if the action is persisted. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, Casey, what's the plan for this plugin? Like, it it would just be providing extension points for other API plugins to uh, report uh, like the checks to GitHub or uh, the uh, checks API default would be doing some sort of uh, reporting as well. Mm. Sorry, can, can you repeat your question? I'm not quite understand. Okay, uh, so uh, like uh, the, the checks API plugin would be by default doing some reporting to GitHub or yes. uh, would it, okay. So uh, like would it only be providing extension points or would it also be doing some default uh, reporting? So what, what, what are the default reporting that you are planning to? Yes, the, the, the defaults, uh, the default uh, um, parameters are like the, uh, the started at the, the, the time when, when the job started at and maybe the status it will provide the defaults uh, at a different stage of the job. So it provides the default like queue in progress and completed. And uh, so um, some other things like the conclusions, <laughs> if the, the consumer plugin didn't provide the conclusion, then we will uh, get this con conclusion from the, uh, from the jobs results and like the job canceled will uh, set the conclusion as canceled. And if the, it fails and we set the conclusion to be failed. So that's uh, it's currently about the about, about the people's uh, configuration. Okay, cool. So
So are there any other questions? If not, so yeah, thanks uh, a lot for the presentation and thanks to everyone who participated and uh, yeah, it was an interesting discussion. Uh, we will post the recording on YouTube, uh, I guess today or tomorrow. Uh, we will try to clean up uh, some materials uh, um, there while we were handling this network issues, but the video will be there and uh, yeah. If you're interested uh, to know more, please join uh, their project channels. And I believe there will be a lot of interesting news there over the next few months. Uh, great work, Casey. Uh, all the best for your uh, coding period. Thank you. Plus one. Thanks all. I'll stop the recording. <laughs>